getting a few hits on it there. So it kind of it simplifies the HUD a little more. Instead of having uh, two target reticules in your typical, you know, target uh, lead indicator, you've just got the one. And uh, you notice the guns fire in uh, the same central position, but get him to move a little bit more. It's uh, much more obvious when he moves. Um, so the guns are still firing in the s in the center of the screen, obviously, um, but the the indicator will slide around slightly, showing me where's the where's the best place to point my ship in order for them to uh, for them to hit their mark, so to speak. It works it works well in a f in a lot of cases, but um, unfortunately, like I said, with the rift, it. Uh, it I think it's it must be tied to your head position uh, at the moment because it doesn't actually uh, doesn't actually track very well. There, sorry. Um, there is a slight delay in the chat, so uh, I, uh, I won't see your questions for a minute or two. Um, what hardware am I running on? Uh, currently, I've got a quad core Core i7 920 uh, running it. I think the uh, 2.22 gig. I think is the stock, um, and a uh, it's only six gig of RAM, which is low by a lot of people's standards these days. Uh, but I've got a uh, a GTX 760, which uh, two gig, which is a, a, a that's a pretty good card these days. There's, there's quite a few above it, but uh, it's a good card. Uh, that's definitely the biggest uh, the biggest factor in playing this game. I think. I mean.
Ah, we have solved the microphone issues. So I'm not sure. Uh, uh, my word, can't believe that. Yes, anyway. Um, let's see the last question that I, that I answered. Yes, the tiny scanner above the speed indicator is the uh, the uh, traditional elite style position of the planet. Um, my microphone was cutting out because the cable was uh, twisted and pulled out slightly. Sorry for that. Um, how much RAM is the Elite process taking up? At the moment, uh, it's uh, just a fraction over 600 megabytes, which is really, really good considering the uh, the Alpha was slated to use up around uh, 2 gig of free memory um, because it was not optimized. Well, obviously, it's it's optimized better than Frontier realized because it's working very, very well. Oh, Sharp Shifter, you're getting around 600 meg on faction. So yeah, let's give that a go, actually. that uh, The faction scenario should put a bit more load on the CPU as well, because there's a lot more AI combatants going on in there. So let's see uh, what the CPU maxes out with uh, all that activity going on. Stigran! Greetings, Commander! We've got some uh, some fun things today. I uh, assume you've heard the news about the 1.1 update for the Alpha. I'll wait for you to read that. Uh, well, I'll listen, hear that in the comments before I uh, read what you say. Yeah, she was asking. Yeah, I I assume you know if you've got 16 gigs of RAM, then it can probably pre-cache a lot of uh, content ahead of time, and uh, you could probably uh, up the quality a lot more in a lot of, a lot of places. So, whoa, it was going to crash into me then. My word. Oh no, they don't like me. Wonderful. Stigrin, yes, yes, I'm sure you have had many pages in the thread. Oh, so to uh, answer the er, the earlier question just then, it, now with this scenario, uh, we've got about 650 megs of memory, and my aging, struggling dinosaur of a CPU is at around 50% usage, so a bit more going on, but uh, my CPU isn't quite as, as efficient as uh, some of the newer ones out there. Not too bad, though. And I, I am actually running the uh, the open broadcaster software to encode the stream and everything at the same time, so that's uh, that's pretty good considering. I love the new scanner. Yes, I I, I do. I am rather fond of the uh, the little planet radar addition to the UI. Great little nod back to the original there. And the flight assist. Yeah, I, I thought. The flight assist felt a bit uh, tightened up. Let me turn it off now. And it did feel a bit tighter and more responsive earlier on when I was playing with it. I was doing all sorts of handbrake turns around asteroids earlier on, and it was working really well. Yeah, aspiring at a space station was always a fun thing to do in the previous game. And, uh, it's going to be great to see uh, all those options start to come online one by one. Oh, you're running your CPU at 80% Stigrin, oh my word. So, I don't know how this is going to come across to you in the stream, but uh, oh, we're definitely going to have to 
up that resolution. There we go. Just for you, Stigrin. <laughs> so this is what this uh, updates the, mo the the best thing this update has brought for me. The thing I've wanted for many years. Uh, Oculus Rift support. And when I say many years, that's because uh, years and years ago when I played the original, I, I you know was looking at all of the various VR systems that were available in the early 90s, thinking, oh my god, you can play this space game, it would be so cool, you know, it's like, you know, I just thought, wow, how cool would that be to have that? So let's just saddle up, so to speak. Of those that have not long joined the, uh, the thread, I'll just have a, uh, a quick nose around. So we've got the uh, the little s center console over here with the old uh, BBC Electron keyboard. Gotta love the details on there like that. I've got uh, a floating head instead of a body. <laughs> Which I assume is going to be uh, patched in when we've actually got commander models. That's uh, going to be cool. And then we've got the little uh, storage bay there with the old uh, flight book that's been pointed out on the forum. Nice little touch. We like that. But the best, best of all, I can turn right around, and we've got the little uh, airlock door there with the uh, obligatory handlebars there. Because obviously we're in complete zero G, so. Uh, need to be able to grab hold of something to get around. And we can get a better look at this uh, this little package, which I assume is some sort of... Uh, I don't know, uh, maybe... A, that's too small for it to be somewhere to sleep on, but it's uh, definitely a package of some sort. Maybe that's uh, where you put your small packages for missions there. And the first aid kit, which wasn't really visible in uh, the 1.0 release, but now we can look around independently. You can see it quite clearly. Not to mention the fact you can get a better view of the uh, the handles up here, which I assume you can use to climb in and out of uh, the commander's seat when the when there's there. Yeah, so definitely a nice uh, nice. And of course we've got the uh, the old Christmas tree bubble head. Yay! Can't get it to wiggle very much, but. Uh, it definitely bubbles around. Let me just check a couple of questions in between now. Um, de -de -de. Uh, oh, Stigrin there, yeah, you just, uh, yeah, I, I agree with you, I get, uh, the flight assist does, uh, turning the flight assist off now does feel a lot better, it's a nice balance. Can you see that part of the cockpit without the Oculus Rift? No, I don't, I don't think so, I don't think you get that kind of freedom you can with the mouse, it's, it's limited. Um, what's under the package holder? So there's a, there's this little uh, uh, storage uh, bay here. I think it was I think someone on the forum mentioned it was the, it was the original flight book uh, um, or guidelines or something. So uh, that's uh, that's a nice little touch that the art team put in there. Can you get a close view of the BBC computer? Yes, yes, by all means. It's about as close as I can get to it. Unfortunately, I can't lean closer to it because <laughs> that's uh, that's one of the things that's not enabled in the Oculus Rift Dev Kit at the moment. So, uh, but, uh, yeah, it's a nice little touch that the uh, the red function keys along the top there. Love it. <laughs> I 
uh, Degama on there. Yeah, that that little white packet is uh, probably uh, illicit substances to sell to people in a, some backwater system. Yeah, shadows on asteroids at the moment is um, is something which uh, I'd raise a bug report for. Um, it's a common problem with 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 all Oculus Rift things. Like I said, uh, Skyrim, um, you have to disable shadows to use the Oculus Rift. They they don't render correctly. What you get is um, two different independent shadow views uh, for the rest. So for, so this asteroid in the center of each eye at the moment, in the left view, it's rendered with a large shadow and a little light patch on the left. But in the right view, it's uh, mostly shadow with a a light patch on the top right. So. Uh, looks a bit silly in a doubled up view for anyone else um, just watching the stream but for me it's, it's really disorientating because the uh, the depth of the asteroid it's it's hard to determine where it where it is it plays tricks with your depth perception so it's um Shusaski, yeah um I'm hope hopefully I pronounced your name right sorry but yeah Shishakli, Shishakli, I assume that is. Where is the power sitting GUI? So yeah, so there's, um, that's the only other thing I've noticed at the moment, the uh, power setting and the target system uh, panels. Uh, you can see the orange glow from where they should be there, but uh, they're they're not being rendered with the rift on. Um, I can press the buttons on the keyboard uh, to activate them, but uh, they don't seem to respond or anything so uh, something I need to uh, sort on there oh I must have an asteroid nearby me rotating because my procs alarm popped on um, <laughs> closer closer man the cockpit looks awesome it does it feels awesome sitting in it it really does feel like I'm uh, turning my spare room into uh, the inside of a sidewinder which is a, a tempting prospect. I might try and convince the wife to let me do that. Um, did using the Oculus Rift give you a headache? <laughs> You're considering buying a dev kit now. Uh, wait, wait for the consumer version, seriously. Um, this is cool and everything, but uh, the resolution doesn't do the game justice. I, uh, I definitely, as soon as I can afford a consumer kit, I will be buying a consumer version of the Rift as well. Um, no, it doesn't really. It's never really given me a headache. Um, but I have all my life. I've suffered with motion travel sickness issues. Um, so when I first first day I had the rift, I could only really play for about twenty minutes before the um, motion sickness got the better of me. Um, but now that I've been playing the rift for a while, I can do crazy things like this, uh, which I've been. I was, uh, initially streaming for three hours, I've played for another two hours now uh, with the rift on virtually all the time and uh, I feel fine, I've got cl better and better with the simulator sickness, in fact uh, actually my travel sickness in reality is uh, <laughs> improved because of me building up a, a kind of tolerance to it in a way. Do I feel like I'm in there? Yes, it is. It, it's a sensation that you really cannot describe, which is uh, why I was happy to bring my my dev kit to uh, Elite Meet for everyone to try out on it. It, it really does feel like you're uh, sticking your head inside a, a box and seeing a completely different room around you because of the way the the camera naturally acts to your head snapping around. You know, like when I look up, I feel like if I was to outstretched by arms I could I could reach the the glass on the cockpit and uh, push it away there it really uh, it's a very very odd sensation bang no oh, that's that's going to leave a mark If <laughs> wait for the consumer version, yeah, definitely. Um, dev kit will probably be cheaper. No, not exactly. Well, they have they've they've said they are trying. To, they're aiming for the uh, consumer version to cost no more than the dev kit. It um, 
you know, that's, that's one of their targets. They want it to be as cheap as possible so it's accessible to as many people as possible. Um, if you were in a lounge chair, would you feel as if you were there? Uh, well, I, in, I am in kind of a, a high-back leather uh, office chair, and it does kind of feel like I'm sat in the... Uh, Sat in a nice Celastoplaston seat and uh, relaxing in the the bridge of my sidewinder. So yeah, it is a really really odd sensation. Whoa! Nearly hit that asteroid there too. Uh, isn't the consumer kit yours away? Nope. Um, the best estimate for the consumer kit at the moment is uh, early next year, maybe even first first quarter. Of 2014, but there's been no confirmation of it yet. The problem is, is uh, the guys at Oculus they they want it to be absolutely spot on. So uh, I don't think they're going to release until they're happy that the consumer kit is uh, really really good before they do that. Petrus, there, no, n uh, not anymore. The the dev kit uh, originally, the first few dev kits were were hand built, um, but the dev kits are now being um, uh, they're being uh, manufactured for uh, 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 it's a third party that's building it for them, um, and it it is a lot cheaper. This this kit I'm playing with the moment I ordered from this the website directly and it shipped from the states to the UK. It was about 220 pounds, so mind-numbingly cheap, cheaper than the triple monitor setup I was considering. So it was a bit of a no-brainer for me. Plus, I was interested in developing for it as well. Excellent! Oh my God, yes, I'm still playing. <laughs> That's five hours now. What can I say? The game's addictive, and then they add Oculus Rift support for it. You know, it's like uh, feed the addiction. <laughs> wow, would it really be seven hundred dollars over there? That's um, that's expensive. It's I, I wouldn't have thought they would have charged that much for it. That would be uh, blocking a lot of people out of the market, and that's not what they're trying to do. But. Right yourself. By, by by all means, you're welcome to my dev kit if you want. Stay with one as soon as I get the uh, consumer kit, of course. <laughs> uh, what what res is the dev kit? So the, the dev kit I'm using at the moment is uh, 1280 by 800 resolution, and the uh, the consumer kit is slated to be uh, 1080p. So that's 1920 by uh, 1080. Um, so it's going to be a lot better. I have played on the um, the HD prototype, and it, it does make uh, quite a difference to the uh, to the way that it works. It uh, makes text a lot more readable, for example, and you can see things further into the distance. Yeah, that's what it's exactly. Yeah, oh, sorry, I really can't pronounce your name. <laughs> Shishalki. Oh, I'm not, not going to try anymore. I'm sorry. I'm really bad at pronunciation uh, for people's names. Um, games do have a lot of trouble with uh, shadows on the Oculus Rift. It's, it's, I think it's to, to do with the way the render targets work. You can see um, the shadows tracking across these things as my head is is moving around. It's something to do with the way that uh, it renders to the off-screen buffer and with the uh, with the Rift effectively having two off-screen buffers which don't uh, match up entirely. The frustums are all out of whack, and uh, there's a lot of complicated reasons why shadows don't work particularly well with two viewports. Sheesh, Ackley, right here. Sheesh, Ackley. I had twelve, twelve eighty by eight hundred is enough for you. Yeah, I mean, as long as your laptop can drive that 
resolution display then you should be okay to do that. The, the biggest problem with the Rift is you need to run at a really high frame rate um, in order for it to be a comfortable experience. 60 frames per second is really the bare minimum that you can run something at. Um, if if you're not getting 60 frames per second it's not going to be just you know a little bit jarring and annoying like it is with a monitor where you have a little bit of stutter and everything like that it, it, below 60 frames per second on the oculus rift is more heavily nausea inducing that's all i'm going to say it really does uh, knock you for six you can't really get away with um you know just dropping below a few frames every now and then it, it will make your head feel like someone's behind you shaking it sort of thing and you know stopping you and uh, you know you're moving on it kind of does this sort of thing it really will make you feel sick after a while uh, you need a high frame rate to make it work <laughs> okay So before, yeah, that it, there there is a, a little a little Christmas tree on my uh, on my dashboard of my cockpit. There, it's a nice little addition that the the guys at Frontier added us in today. We got uh, a few uh, a few different uh, bobbleheads we can put on the cockpit now. Um, Any way to tell what Elite Dangerous runs up for you in frames per second? Um, I don't know exactly. I mean, maybe if you run Fraps, Fraps might be able to tell you how many uh, frames are getting presented um, it's worth a shot uh, I haven't tried it myself, I haven't found some magic key combination which uh, gives you a frames per second indicator or anything like that and I've not found any hidden dev options to give you a frames per second counter so uh, Fraps is probably a good, uh, a good one Shishakli, yeah, is the... oh, control F control F? No. Nope. No, that doesn't work. Sorry, Petrus. Uh, is the head bob disabled when using the Oculus Rift? Um, uh, yes, effectively. Yes, sorry. Yeah, so um, that kind of thrusting back in your seat effect is is not there at all with the Rift, and I don't think it's something they could do because any any kind of involuntary head movement in a, in a game with Oculus Rift support is very uncomfortable and will quickly make you feel sick if there's too much of it. So. You've got to be very careful with that sort of thing. Even uh, even silly little things like, for example, the um, uh, when you. I mean, if I smash my ship into something, let's uh, turn the shields off, destroy it. Um, silly little things that you wouldn't normally consider as being an issue in a game, uh, like the camera effectively going completely stationary. Like, see, now I've got head movement. Now I can spin my head around and effectively the camera is stationary. It's very uncomfortable to have a stationary camera when you're uh, moving your head around because um, you suddenly go from everything feeling like the world's around you to the world effectively stopping and being stuck to that position in your head and you're, it's like you're looking at a monitor again which is held with a bracket in front of your face. It's, it's a very disorientating and uncomfortable ex feeling for when the uh, camera suddenly freezes and stops tracking your head movement. Okay, so there's a couple of suggestions there that uh, I should be able to get the frames per second on with Control F. Maybe it is rendering out of my line of sight with the Rift, so I'm going to just turn the Rift view off. Let's go back to oops, <laughs> Anaglyph. I should have to get the red and red and blue glasses out at some point just to uh, just to see how well that works. Okie dokie. So. No. Control in F doesn't work. Alt in F doesn't seem to work for me. Control F no. No, I don't seem to be getting the frames per second up on there any anyway. That's where it commanded and yeah, you can have the bubble head, the tree, or take it off entirely in the uh In the options menu here, I can go down to. I probably just sped straight past. There we go, bobbleheads. So you can have the Toku character from uh, the Lost Winds game, which was the original. Oh, 
forgot to name. Um, yeah, it was the original bobblehead, but now we've got a little Christmas tree to celebrate. Yay! It's a litmus. You have the red and blue glasses. <laughs> uh, I mean, I can play it for a few minutes, and if I t if I take the rift off my head for a second, and for those folks at home that have a pair of red and blue glasses, you can put them on now. Um, if I switch the mode on, then uh, anyone's watching the stream, if you put it in uh, full screen, let's try it with anaglyph. My word, that is really, really odd. I'm gonna have to. Uh, oh, so ah, so it's still actually using the the Oculus head tracker, which is weird. <laughs> right, I'm gonna have to put the uh, put the rift on my lap or something so that it stops moving around. Okay, that is that is really weird. I don't think I'm gonna be able to play particularly well in that view. I can't see the scanner at all. There we go for the for the folks at home with uh, red and blue 3D technology. <laughs> this is so weird. I can't see a thing. Oh my god! I feel like I'm flying blind. Um, yeah, there we go. If you put the uh, if you put your red and blue glasses on now, you'll be able to see in full three dimensions. Oh, you've got red and green. Oh, it, it may may work. It's worth a try. Oh, so someone someone who's uh, posted a YouTube video did have uh, frames per second counter on. I mean, the only thing I could think of is perhaps they were using um, something like fraps or something for the uh, for the view. Any other DRM free games that work on the on the Rift? Um, there, there's only one demo that comes in the box, literally just to test that you've actually got it. There's the uh, Tuscany demo, um, which has been shown quite a, quite a, a lot uh, uh, on the various uh, the Rift demos. Um, but there is actually a good website. Uh, I recommend for this. Uh, I think riftenabled.com and there's another one uh, I think it's called the riftlist.com um, which has got a good collection I think it's uh, mostly community uh, driven and it's got a good list of everything uh, which is supported on the rift at the moment so that's, that's worth checking out you can see there's a lot of games on there and the majority of games at the moment are all just indie uh, projects and whatnot they've been thrown together uh, well, thrown together that's sorry that's a no, don't mean that in a derogatory way but uh, uh, little demos showing off uh, interesting ideas with the Rift, so uh, it's worth checking out. War Thunder, um, that's probably the uh, it's now number two. It's my it's my it's my s second favorite Rift enabled game. I'll uh, let you guys guess which I which I think is my number one. Rift enabled game, um, yeah, it's a very good experience. Works well with the X52 flight stick as well, so it's uh, it's it's a great game, and it's uh, it's all completely free and online play and nice multiplayer battles as well. Red and green. Um, it's red and blue on my screen. Uh, looks like I'm having s some color correction issues coming across in the uh, stream. Um,
Yeah, unfortunately the uh, the way that the stream's getting compressed is the uh, the color correction's a little off, so it's probably coming across a little bit more green than it should be for s some people on there. Yeah, I mean, I am seeing the um, the target ship indicator is is bright green, but um, everything else around it is is a shade of blue. So I think uh, you will get some um, mixes in colours appearing. That's I mean, you, you do tend to see that in Anaglyph. Not sure how well it comes across though. <laughs> Stigger and you're seriously buying an Oculus Rift now. Hi, I'm sorry. I had this effect on people. I, mu I must have cost a lot of people a lot of money <laughs> over <laughs> over the last few months. I feel really bad about it. to an asteroid, if I can see what's an asteroid and what isn't. And especially on the light side of an asteroid as well, let's turn the lights on as well. I think being closer to something, depth perception definitely is more pronounced, so uh, hopefully it shows up while in the stream. Woo! of the asteroid here. <laughs> there we go, got some light coming across. Whoa! Whoa, yeah. Yes, we know, we know. Proximity alarm, damn you. Damn you. So I'm not sure if the depth is coming across while in there for you guys. a high frame rate for the rift it's not um it's not just a uh, a thing which is like oh you know snobbery or anything like that with um with other games where you know higher frame rate is better no with with the rift with it, unless you're getting 60 frames per second in a game it's it's very uncomfortable experience okay yeah i'll just type that into chat yeah so there's um two two sites i've uh, i've found which are really good uh, for the Rift. It's riftenabled.com and the uh, the Rift list. I've uh, downloaded m most of the demos from both of those ones, and uh, they're all very good. Great fun to play. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, okay, sorry, Petrus, I nearly missed your um, comment there. Um, oh, the stereoscopic is so far out, it's not aligning. Sorry, Alien, I missed that there as well. Let me... Uh, go to the options. There is an option to tweak the uh, 
the three D separation. So let's drop that right down. Maybe, uh, maybe it's because I was playing with that earlier on, and it's way too high to be useful. Doesn't seem to affect the rift mode, so I was just experimenting to see what it is. Oh, definitely seems a little closer. Maybe that's uh, a little better for for you now. Uh, so Petrus there. So they, uh, essentially, to run the o Oculus R Oculus Rift Consumer Kit smoothly, your PC should be able to run uh, Elite Dangerous at 60 frames per second at the desired resolution, which is going to be 1080p with the Consumer Kit. We we expect. So uh, yeah, effectively, you're you're going to need to at least get 60 frames per second constant at that resolution in order for the uh, the Consumer Kit to be a, a comfortable option on your machine. I, I see where you're coming from there, Commander Jan. Yeah, if, if if you're getting that sort of experience in that game, but the the issue is with that game because it's uh, it's online. It it's it seems like the way that they do their uh, their rendering loop is probably closely tied to their uh, their networking subsystem. So uh, if you're getting 30 frames per second when you're in a uh, an encounter like that, which is a lot more intensive, then it sounds like their render is is tied and limited to their networking capabilities. I don't think that's going to be the case with a game like um, uh, Elite Dangerous. The uh, the rendering uh, is probably very decoupled from the uh, network experience, so uh, you can get a completely different uh, readout for your rendering compared to your network performance. Be able to get 60 frames per second at 320 by 200. <laughs> so it doesn't seem like uh, anaglyph mode works while across the stream, which is a shame. There's this uh, dashboard brightness option, which has been included in as well. This side by side view, the three D separation does seem to have more of a uh, more of an impact. I'm just trying to see what the variation is there that I get on that. Definitely seems to uh, converge better on the uh, the cockpit there for me. It's odd that this side by side view is actually uh, works relatively well with the Oculus. Yeah, I thought that it would be unplayable with that, but uh, it seems to work quite well. Unfortunately, we're still getting shadowing artifacts, so I don't think it's going to be any better with that on.
rather counterintuitively if you turn the uh, shadow and quality to low it works better with the rift that's that's just the way these things are oh my word i've missed a lot of questions whilst trying to configure that um Yeah, she has, she has, I can't say it again. She has, uh, yeah, the um, it depends on the game and everything, but um, I, I think for a long time most games have uh, tried to decouple their uh, rendering from the networking stack. If you if you if you build a game in such a way like that these days, it's uh, it's a very very poor state to be in. I think it's uh, not a good way to build things. Uh, the dev kit I sounds ideal. Yeah, it's um, it's obviously you're gonna be able to run it on a smaller machine. I mean, you you're gonna be able to run the consumer kit if you don't mind running it at a lower resolution. But uh, obviously, the quality will will ditch the further and further you go down on there. So uh, it may still be worthwhile waiting for the consumer version anyway, because it's gonna be lighter. It's gonna be less bulky. Um, it's going to be more comfortable, I expect, as well. There's a lot of other reasons why the consumer kit is going to be a good thing over the dev kit. Um, but uh, resolution aside, you know, if you've got a higher resolution panel inside the dev kit, you're still going to be able to have options like you would in any other game, so you can uh, drop the resolution down for uh, a higher frame rate. You know, running it to uh, half the resolution, for example, to keep the uh, keep the frame rate up. Uh, would would still be a, a a good option, I suppose. <laughs> so you're managing to run on your laptop in high detail, and uh, yeah, I mean that 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 might be the way you do it anyway. Is that you know like drop it down to low detail when you want to play uh, with the riff so you get the higher frame rate and uh, if you just want to play regularly without the riff then uh, you can put it back up to high frame rate like I said I mean um, you know what you would normally find comfortable and you know quite uh, quite easy to use in, in on a monitor is uh, it's a different experience with the rift so you just wouldn't get away with the lower frame rate Oh, you wanted a an option to bind the dashboard light to the scroll wheel. Yeah, that would have been nice actually. Could have just scaled it up and down. Maybe it maybe to get moved. I mean at the moment it's in the graphics option menu, which is a bit of a bit of an odd one as you know I think it's one of those catch all places, isn't it? The graphics <laughs> graphics menus where everything gets dumped for the time being. So uh, perhaps they'll shift things around in the menus. They're all just options and things that can be tweaked around in config files anyway, so uh, it may all change come the final release. Uh, dee 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 dee. <laughs> ah, Commander Wet Dog, good to see you. Yes, I can do a complete 360 without uh, popping my head off my shoulders, which is impressive. And uh, in all directions as well. Nice, loads of little details and things you couldn't see before. You know, the first aid kit. You can see more of that uh, package on there, whatever that is. We can completely see the airlock behind us, which is surreal. And we've got the lovely uh, BBC Electron keyboard there with its bright red function keys. Gotta love it. Fantastic detail.
Okay. Oh, sorry there, wet dog. Have I tried to adjust the menus? Uh, which menus exactly are you, are you referring to there? Commander Jan, try to fly upside down for giggles. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Okay, that's that's gonna be uh, challenging, to say the least. Uh, how am I gonna do this? Hang on. menu options one and three. Yeah, this is the issue we've had actually. I've, I've noticed that uh, there doesn't seem to be any way of getting to those two menus. They uh, they don't they don't show up on the left and right there. So I'm not sure if that's a bug or if there's something that I've done incorrectly that I can't get them to show up. Whoa, that is so weird. So I'm probably going to have to put... Um, Uh, <laughs> uh. Okay, that's yeah, that's The issue with that is the screen is actually rotating and adjusting for me, which is a very, very weird thing. It's effectively static inside the rift. That is, that is so weird. I've never looked at that before. Um, if I rotate the rift around and hold it to my face upside down, it's actually rendered right way up still. But when I look at it externally, it's still it's upside down. That is so weird. I have no idea how that even works. That makes no sense to me. Oh, I cannot fly upside down. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, there should be a free version of Fraps you can use for now, Stigger, and just to try it out. You know, if you just want to use it just for the sake of testing one game out with a frame rate, I'm sure it's... Uh, it's a bit much to ask that they pay forty bloody dollars for that. That seems like a a complete joke. That's a weird thing. Okay, see you. Uh, see you shortly, Stigger. There. Okay, I'm just gonna put the rift back on my head in a real position. Hang on, bear with me. Stigrin said the S word. That's banned. We don't say that word. Okie dokie. Let's uh, let's get back to some action. I suppose I'm going to take a few minutes uh, just to actually play. Okie dokie. Where are those?
love the smoke effects when you uh, when you have the rift on. Anything with particles is uh, very very surreal because the the depth really jumps out with particle effects. Boom! Try and fly through that smoke. Wow. That's really odd. It really does feel like that's surrounding my cockpit, that uh, smoke effect there. Silly little things like that which uh, which just jump out at you with the uh, the full 3D on it. So. It's quite funny. I mean, things like, uh, <laughs> you know, environment mapping, bump mapping, things like that. Things that, you know, they've been uh, common for many, many years on games, but uh, with the rift on suddenly they they take on new life there really is a lot of uh, depth to them I wonder if i can use my angular velocity to oh that works hey so one of the things i found when i was trying to shunt these around the other day and that trail of radio radioactive waste there uh, yeah i was trying to shunt these uh, canisters around the other day and i found that if the uh, velocity of my ship was too high they would uh, explode rather quickly but they don't they don't think about angular velocity in the same way so let's get up on the wing of my sidewinder and ah, go on yes it's the sidewinder World Cup. Oh, <laughs> okay. They don't take an infinite amount of abuse. <laughs> Still hilarious, though. Yeah, uh, I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun just gathering cargo canisters. Something uh, with the fuel scoop. I never really got the hang of it in uh, Frontier Elite 2 until I went back and played it in. Uh, my live stream in the earlier episodes of Crash Landing, way back when, before the alpha was released. Now I'm I'm way too distracted now. <laughs> oh dear, I just started a Monty Python-esque rant in the chat by saying the S word. Ah, welcome Greg, thank you. Dark Knight. Thank you very much for joining. Uh, sorry, I'm just trying to catch up with a couple of questions there. Can you see any of your pilot's avatar or are you a disembodied head? Yes. At the moment you are uh, disembodied. There's no... Uh, oops. Got a throttle back there. I'm done looking at the ground. Um, yeah, there's no uh, no avatar, so to speak, at the moment. Um, but then uh, the concepts for the avatars were only just released a couple of weeks ago, so... <laughs> yeah, that's uh, definitely not been added to the game yet uh, in its current state, so... Commander Wet Dog there. Yes, uh, the the first mission would be uh, fun if it was a cargo scoop mission, but then uh, you'd probably need a bigger ship with a cargo scoop, so uh, that's probably why they haven't put it in yet. be fun to do that when we get it. Um, and I think, I mean, you know, the, uh, the Alpha is uh, put out mainly for combat tests, so uh, you need something to just to get you used to the controls first of all and hitting stationary targets seems like a good place to start so I don't imagine there's going to be much uh, blasting radioactive containers in the full release I think it's more of a uh, a tutorial type uh, setup for us there you are okay got your attention now haven't I into 
to the lasers. Come on. Whoops. Missed you entirely. Come on. Come on. That's it. You think you can... Try and maneuver out the way. Boom! Love those explosions. Ooh, that's a big asteroid. Let's go on to the next mission. Yes, that's true. Uh, the the AI does seem to have had a few tweaks in it in this build. I must admit, they do tend to be a, a avoiding a few of the things I was doing uh, earlier on. Are the explosions better? They say they have improved them. Let's let's have a look at one and find out. That last one definitely looked pretty cool. Sorry, sir, but I need to uh, blow up your ship to demonstrate. Whoa, that is a cool hyperspace effect. I'm going to end up cricking my neck at some point, I think. I think the explosion was better, but I was too busy spinning around out of control at the time. Let's uh, let's give that another go. <laughs> See you later, wet dog. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, Commander Jan. Okay, yeah, no problem. If you need to go, that's fine. Thank you for tuning in today. Sorry, it is a little late tonight. I'm kind of obsessed because this is the, the two things I've wanted for so long. Virtual reality and a sequel to this game. <laughs> uh, Dark Knight there. How much do you have to move your head to see around? Is it very sensitive? It's as sensitive as looking around in real life. So it's uh, pretty much one for one. Um, there's no uh, kind of mapping, so to speak, like you would see with... Uh, you know, like a mouse cursor or something like that. It really is just a case of you, if you move your head just a slight amount, the cockpit will roll around slightly. If you snap your head to the right or left or up or down, it will move one for one with your head movements. And that's one of the things that makes the rift so immersive is that it's, uh, it reacts exactly as you react in real life, effectively. So it works very, very well in that respect. Kind of just. What if I can blow out my windscreen? Lots 
of people. Oh, life support is inoperable. Oh, I can see the rem lock over the top of my head there. Sorry, I was reading questions at the same time. Yeah, the rem lock doesn't really. Uh, there was a question earlier on when the when the rem lock life support mask comes over your face. Is it disorientating? Um, it's so faint, really, that it um, doesn't uh, doesn't feel at all bad. This is just like a looking through glass, really. Uh, Darkner there. Can you use the two side control panels with the Oculus Rift, or do you still press 1 in 3? Well, we haven't been able to get those side views to work, which I assume is uh, either a bug or I have some odd setup, but uh, they don't seem to render on either side at the moment, which is a shame. kind of limits what you can do with, uh, with the Rift on. So uh, hopefully that's something which will be fixed soon, though. Yeah, and, and it is very, very cool the fact that you can uh, tilt your head around so you can keep track of the uh, the target. It works really, really well. It allows you to compensate for a lot of small movements that uh, otherwise would be uh, difficult to keep tabs on them. Rather than you have to move your entire ship around just to keep them, you know, in a in a window somewhere. You know, you can carry on fire in this direction and uh, pretty much. Uh, you know, just keep an eye on that asteroid that's next to you or something, you know what I mean, whilst they're uh, still getting fired at. Oh, his shields are down to orange. There we go, shields depleted. So I don't know if any uh, of the Lave Radio guys have popped along tonight. Uh, I know. Uh, Mr. Stabler himself was eager to see what uh, the rift was like in Elite Dangerous. I just wish I could uh, share it with a few people. I suppose this is the best we can do with the technology we have today. Oh yes, those explosions definitely do seem a bit more meaty. There's, there seems seem to be a lot more debris around, and they do seem a lot larger. Uh, welcome back, Stigrin. Uh, so you only get, wow, you only get 20 frames per second. Yeah, I think. Uh, Rift is not really going to be an option for you there. Dark Knight there. It'd be interesting if we get uh, 180 or 360 degree weapons that uh, track with the Oculus Rift. Yeah, that might be an interesting thing actually to, you know, have a. a weapons that could be independently tracked like that. I mean, I don't know how you would map it to a control for people without the Rift to use. That could be um, a problem. And that's one of the things I don't really want to, you know, divide up the user base in any way. Well, I'll say, <laughs> as if I have a choice on it. Uh, I wouldn't like to see the user base divided in any way based on, you know, so all the people that have got Rifts and the people that don't sort of thing like that. You know, I don't, I want it to be uh, as balanced as possible for everyone. Yeah, sorry, Stigrin. As much as I would, I would love for you to be able to try out the uh, the Rift. I d I don't think it would be at all comfortable or even uh, usable, really, at, the, at those sort of frame rates. Unfortunately, which is is such a shame, really. Um, but if you ever manage to get a cheap flight over to the UK, you're welcome to uh, stop over and try this one. <laughs> Excellent. Pick off the dude at the back of the pack. Don't worry guys, I'm just flying in formation. Just coming to give you some assistance, honestly. Yes, and I think it was mentioned uh, by a few people before, but yeah, the uh, 
the planet does look a heck of a lot better now. There's, there's a quality slider available in the menu option, so yeah. Planets look awesome. Let's get in close to this guy. Really close to this guy. Oh, he's breaking formation because he probably detected I was going to have a nav collision with him. You know. do -do 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 get into that then. <laughs> Sharp shifter, yeah, you imagine a capital ship uh, with a t turret gun in the Oculus Rift, you just look and shoot. Yeah, the uh, the AI does seem to have been tweaked a little bit, definitely, that recon wing uh, scenario was a lot harder actually. <sighs> Yes, alien. That's true. We will uh, we will have to sort out uh, something if uh, if Stigrin does come to the UK. We'll have to start a mini Kickstarter to get Stigrin a plane ticket to come over for LaveCon 2014. That would be awesome. Okay. Good night, Commander Jan. Thank you for tuning in today. Close to 1 a.m. Oh, well, crikey, it's 12 as well. How much better would the Oculus lap? How much better with the Oculus Rift would you say this is over the standard version with the Oculus Rift? Do you find it easier to fight and track? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. It's It feels like uh, the, the Rift and Elite were just made for each other. <laughs> but no, seriously, it is, uh, it is fantastic. Definitely tracking your, uh, tracking your targets is a world of difference. Uh, just being able to spin your head around slightly, having that slight uh, control is all the difference. And uh, you know, if you if you're not interested in the Oculus Rift, I mean, uh, it, it definitely is the best VR experience I've uh, ever had chance to try. But uh, if you'd rather have the uh, the track IR and have the uh, benefit of the three monitors as well when you're not playing games and that it would, I would imagine would be a lot easier to track your track your targets and everything around on this. But uh, definitely the Oculus Rift is fantastic for doing this. You know, I can uh, I'm gonna be totally daft here and get right in close to this target just so I can uh, closer he is I can I can mess around with the uh, watching him go around tracking him. Straight line. I'll 
take him to the corners. Okay, let's try one of the other scenarios. It's definitely a a better experience with the rift than um, without the rift. It does feel a lot more involving and uh, kind of nail-biting. I mean, this one in particular, the Predator and Prey uh, scenario, it, uh, I played it earlier on and it was kind of tense when I was hiding behind one of the asteroids. You really do feel like you're in it and uh, in trouble if that person swats you. So, uh, it is a much better experience and it does, it, you know, it does give you an advantage being able to look around, I will admit that. Um, like I said, I, I, I hope that the game's balanced enough that uh, being able to scan around doesn't give you too much of an advantage. And I'd hate to see it offset. I wouldn't want anyone to have some unfair advantage just because they have a rift. chat stream again, sorry. Uh, dear, dear, dear. Oh, sorry, I've missed a lot here, sorry. Uh, Mr. Stacking. Uh, Kickstarter. <laughs> Excellent, yes. Sign my onesie. I need a onesie. I want an elite onesie. Yes, high level pledges might get a little bit. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to go there. Uh, oh, sorry, so just now go to the toxic waste scenario and use it with flight assist off and the Oculus Rift. Okay, let's load up the scenario and I'll try and answer a few more questions in between. Um, just imagine how good it would look flying into a gas giant with the Oculus Rift. Oh, don't tease me. That's going to be so amazing. And yeah, you're right, Stigrin. I mean, I w did not believe Frontier were going to get <laughs> Oculus Rift support enabled in the second patch a week after the first alpha. I mean, what the heck? No one's done anything like that. It was crazy, crazy. It was a nice surprise by, by far. Best Christmas present I could have asked for. Yeah, good point, Sharpshifter. Is uh, when you're going to be able to fly into a uh, in uh, atmospheric environments and things like that, it's going to look so cool with the sun. Drunk driver, yeah, sorry. Uh, Sharpshifter going to be the cockpit around your monitor. No need now. Yeah, this is this is one thing I found most amazing about the Rift. Actually, as much as I thought it would be nice to have a a cockpit build, you don't need it. It literally is around your head when you put this thing on. <laughs> yes, you can turn and watch the uh, ships as you fly around. Talk to Grant for a onesie. Yes, I'll give him a shout, actually. I'd be up for wearing a onesie for the next uh, LaveCon or whatever comes first. Or the uh, 
Oh, the launch party, the unofficial launch party is going. I will uh, try to get to that if anyone else who hasn't had a chance to try the Rift is uh, is up for trying it out. Hopefully I can uh, get get the Rift there so people can try that out. The clouds in the Kickstarter video, yes, that's going to look really, really cool. Yeah, and the expansions are going to be uh, a lot more involving than just a handful of bloody items. I hate that with modern games these days when you pay a fortune for DLC and it's like an extra weapon or something. Okie dokie, let's try this challenge then. Right. So, rift on. Where's my feet? There's my feet. Uh, rift on. Flight assist off. Mission go. helps just being able to t tilt your head so you can see the thing you're going to get to in a second. The problem is without the rift you tend to get into this uh, like negative feedback loop where you're constantly turning the ship around just to be able to get to the uh, a look at the thing that you want to fly towards. With the rift you can kind of just, just tilt your head slightly and have a look over there first. assist off, rift on. I think having the rift on definitely uh, definitely helps with that actually. And the fact that flight assist has been approved might uh, uh, tweaked and improved slightly might uh, be a bigger reason. Oh, Star Citizen have caved and uh, added third person combat view. Mm. Wonder how that would look with the Oculus Rift. I I've tried a couple of third-person experiences with the Rift. It really it is strange. It's uh, you know, so you're 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 fixed and looking at an object, but when you rotate, your whole body is thrust and shot around that object. It's 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 a really really weird experience. Like your your head is tied by a rope to an object, and all you can do is move around it in a sphere. Uh, it's it's a really really odd experience. That's not great for the Rift, to be fair. Ah, Dark Knight, you are moving back to the UK in January. Excellent. Brilliant. I'd love to see you at some of the events. That'd be great. <laughs> yes, I'm sure Mike would uh, go and convince people that why third person is a bad idea. You see people getting seasick with flight assist off and the, and the rift on. Well, yes and no. I mean, the thing is, like I said, it's like you know, if you're if you're tilting down, your head kind of. If I turn it off a second here, if I, you know, I'm tilting down, you kind of to follow that asteroid. I naturally tilt my head up, and you see how the asteroid seems to say, nah, seems to stay stationary inside the view. So let me do it again, and I'm just kind of naturally tilting my head forward to keep my keep my head track in that asteroid. So you kind of like compensate for any kind of like seasick motion, you know, like uh, the like over emphasized motion of the cockpit, you naturally kind of uh, balance it. So even if you're stuck in a in a rotation, you kind of, you know, you stop and tilt your head slightly, you know, that kind of like to keep the asteroid in a stationary position effectively. But, uh, you actually uh, compensate for most of that. I don't think external views have been ruled out entirely, Stigran. I, I've heard that um, there might be probes or something like that to allow camera views. I just don't think they're going to be practical in combat views. I think you could see it to uh, 
through ship repairs or something like that, but uh, go into a spin and then move my head. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it does make you feel a little bit queasy if you're not careful, but if you do uh, kind of pick an asteroid out and uh, try and track it with your head, you don't feel that bad, you just feel like the thing underneath you is moving. If I, if I uh, try and... where's the position of the planet there? I lost it. There's the planet. So I can throttle back slightly and then get myself into a complete pitch. So I can see there's the planet. Yeah you do kind of feel <laughs> like <laughs> oh my word. You get a bit of a weird sinking feeling when you <laughs> Oh dear yes. If you did that too often uh you would start to feel a little bit sick I think. <laughs> <laughs> you always nerfed in too slow. Yeah, that's right. It is. Uh, it has been made a lot slower. It does make uh, playing the game with keyboard and mouse really really difficult you can't play it like a standard first person shooter and zap around but then uh, it's like Mike said it's uh, you know they've they've done it specifically to make the game work more like the uh, classic elite where uh, pitch and roll are the two key things I still feel that pitch I don't know whether it's this particular ship or whether it's in general but pitch on the uh, the sidewinder just doesn't seem enough for me I, I, I want a bit more maneuverability to have tighter tighter turns. this off as well. See if I can find it. Way off my radar range. Is that him? There he is. Okay, flight assist off. Whoa, whoa. feel like uh, the, <laughs> the only way to have any sort of effective combat is a uh, is a mix of flight assist on and off. I think that's just uh, you just don't get the fine control with with flight assist off that you can with uh, with it on. And then with it uh, turning it off, you can do some pretty cool maneuvers. But uh, with it completely disabled all the time, you're just you're constantly fighting the stick to even get them in the view and you just you just don't stand a chance really. I'll keep going but I'm assuming I'm gonna end up getting destroyed on this. You're pretty much just gotta stay stationary and make yourself a sit and duck in order to get them in your in your sights, which is a real shame really. I don't think you have any advantage at all. this off. Whoops. 
last year for that. Too busy focusing on the head that heck you're gonna keep that. And you can see I've gone quiet again because it takes a heck of a lot of concentration just to get the flight assist. Okay, farewell, Petrisk. Thank you for uh, tuning in tonight. the Oculus Rift with something other than a hottest controller, would you find it hard? No, actually, um, the Xbox controller uh, is, is, is it works really, really well, and, and having all the buttons right there in front of you is the key thing. Um, using the keyboard with the Oculus Rift is a real pain because you have to keep, you know, kind of guessing where your fingers are. Once you get used to where everything is on a keyboard, you're quite, you know, it's quite easy, but, um, you know, sometimes when you lose your position on the keyboard, it's a bit of a pain to find it without lifting the rift up. Yeah, I mean, I'll demonstrate that actually. Um, I will uh, irritate this guy and just uh, do a little bit of dog fighting, turning the flight assist on and off just to uh, hug close to the asteroids and, uh, and spin around quickly on them. Looking for those engine flare. There it is, a telltale engine flares. Right, we got your attention there. set up an ambush. Could be an interesting tactic, oh, except he has gone cold on my radar now, he doesn't care about me because I was running away. Oh no! Flight assist off. Get that boost. Flight assist back. Okay, folks, so I think, um, <laughs> I think as I 
have streamed six hours of Rift gameplay on the Alpha today. I think I better call it a day. My word, I didn't realize. Oh, that's so addictive. That's so much fun. The uh, Frontier really outdone themselves with this. I was so pleasantly surprised to see that message pop into my inbox today saying, oh yeah, by the way, we've enabled Rift support. It's like, how much of a better Christmas present could you ask for? So I'm uh, I'm gonna stay around on the uh, the chat for a little longer, um, have some editing and whatnot to do on the videos. So uh, I'll be around to answer a few more questions. My family thinks I'm in the pub. No, no, I'm not a drinker. I'm not a smoker, but I am addicted to games. So uh, they know exactly where I am and what I'm doing. <laughs> Six hours, folks. In my eyes, two inches away. Yeah, oh, yeah, yes. It they converge at infinity, so it's no ice strain. <laughs> uh, and I'm surprised actually how well I got through that with no kind of feeling of motion sickness. I'm uh, quite pleased at how natural that felt without uh, any issues. I can't wait for more to be enabled on the. Uh, on the rift, oh wow, that's gonna be so cool when we've got all those flying into docking ports and various things like that. Gonna be so much fun. Oh, I'll probably switch over to the Skype chat now if everyone's uh, if everyone's gonna leave this. <laughs> it's a it's a ploy from my wife. Yeah, she buys me the X fifty two flight stick to so she knows exactly where I am. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there we go. So, thank you very much everyone for watching. I'll uh, be posting these up onto YouTube. And uh, if, uh, if it keeps going the way it is right now, uh, my word, I've got over 100 subs subscribers now on the Twitch feed. I cannot believe how popular this has been. And uh, I just have to say thank you to everyone who's, uh, who's uh, joining in because it's... Uh, without you guys it wouldn't it wouldn't be anything so uh, thank you very much good night to everyone see you soon